Hello everyone, I am Jerry and this is Joshua for another video on the screwdrivers. However, you may notice this one's a little bit different. Just we are, we're not in a car. So really, it's not the screwdrivers. We are proud to announce to you guys a new series on this channel called... I forget what we're called. <laughs> Oh, welcome to Global Snackage. Insert epic reverb. Global Snackage. That's not gonna work. No, it's really not. Anyway, okay, back to the video. We get what's called a monthly subscription box from Snack Crate, where you get, you get snacks from around the world, four to five to six snacks from around the world. We're gonna bust this puppy open, we're gonna see what see what's inside. We have no idea what's inside right now. We've literally got the box Haven't yesterday in the mail and tampered with the seal. So yeah, if you guys want to check this out, maybe subscribe to your own box. Uh, we'll leave the description. <laughs> subscribe to your own box. <laughs> We're gonna leave a link to this specific box. Snackcrate.com. Snack link is in the description or in the annotations right. Here, actually. No. All right, so we're gonna bust this puppy open. You hold it. You don't let them see my address. I feel this is like address. a great privilege touching this blue mysterious box. Watch your hands. That's like really. Uh, if you cut off my fingers, I might have to see. Maybe. Now can they see inside the box? Mm -hmm. Okay. So oh, maybe they do have information. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. So, right, so to I'm gonna to put this on my computer. Here's a hot tip. Some you don't care. Snack crate. This month's crate is from Japan, folks. Dun dun dun. Okay. All right. Bust this puppy open. You you ripped it. That's oh, no. you ripped it. First things first. Air bubble. Oh. Oh my goodness. This looks. There crazy. are right now so many colors in the box. Oh. Okay. Oh, Hello everyone. I am Jerry. Oh stop. no! Stop. <laughs> We got a box of snacks. I don't know where to start. Joshua, what's the first thing on the list? The first thing on the list is Japan. Let's read about Japan. Once upon a time in a country, lar. It says. Umbayo. Umebo. It's um. Umibe. Delicious stick in Japanese is a puffed corn snack available in many Ooh. flavors. We've included three pizza, teriyaki, <gasps> burger, and chicken curry. That sounds amazing. Let's try each one individually. Let's start off with uh, which one comes in first? Pizza. Let's try pizza first. Okay. Let's see how Japan imitates American pizza. Wait, so these are like ch puffed corn snack. That sounds like a little bit like Cheetos. Kind of like Cheetos, kind of like the, the no name brand of cheese puffs. We'll see how they. Compared okay. to a... It doesn't look like a... Oh my goodness, are we just gonna... Looks like a... Oh my... Corn dog. Shows you this is like a dog. gigantic, massive Cheeto. I'm not even sure, like... <laughs> it's hollow and I'm sure if you can see on the other side, like, it's like hollow on the inside. It's like a cigarette. take a bite on the other side. I'm not gonna do it when you do it. It's gross. What flavors? Oh. I can actually taste pizza in there. I'm I surprised. Can. It has like a cheese, slight cheese Ooh. flavor, Gross. strong tomato flavor. It's uh, I didn't bring paper towels, did we? Um, which bite did you? That was I don't know, just YOLO. That's that's decent imitation of pizza. I wish there's pepperoni on the inside or something. It's hollow. I can't say that I'd buy it at a store if I saw it for sale or something. No, I bet these things are probably like four bucks. Oh man, <laughs> they taste uh. Yeah, let's go ahead and put that one back in the box. Oh, guys, look at this wrapper, by the way. The Japanese wrapper is They have class incredible. with their wrapper. It just feels like a Nickelodeon TV show. I can move that out. Oh. Got it like a mess. Oh. No, that's teriyaki. That, that smells, smells sweet. like teriyaki. That smells, smells really sweet. sweet. Yes. Like sweet barbecue or something. It's not always bad. You take a first bite. <laughs> We're not going to do that, that again. Strange. That was too awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I've never had a teriyaki burger, but it's, this is what it tastes like. I don't think I'm ever going I'm to. I'm not have down. One. No. I am so up, not down. This is 
Pretty bad. That is like so. What's the flavor you're getting? I'm getting a lot of sugar soy sauce. Soy sauce it's mixed like, with sugar. It's like non salty soy sauce. I'm just gonna put that one away and not try it again. Hey, cameraman Bob, you try a bite. Try a bite, cameraman Bob. Does cameraman Bob approve? Here's your curry chicken. Fried chicken. Curry, curry chicken. chicken. That's chicken. funny because. Oh. Yeah. oh. That's what it tastes like. That's honey. not teriyaki. Honey, that's burger. So honey, it's honey. We're stupid. Wait, so what do we Cameraman just eat? Bob is oh, not. We just eat. That was that, that's a burger, though. They stayed true to the curry chicken flavor. The, it's, there was like a strong. We thought it was soy sauce or teriyaki. That shows you how much our tongues deceived us when we thought it was a certain flavor. It was actually a strong, sweet flavor of honey. And then the curry mix, and cameraman Bob looks like he's gonna pass out. Back there <laughs> I'm pretty sure the he just did. The aftertaste <laughs> is a little bit. Yeah, it's a little overpriced. We probably should have gotten waters. So the powder is the worst part of these things. It's like, they're like Doritos covered. The Doritos powder. Yeah, it tastes like bite. Hmm. Hmm. Tastes like an egg noodle. I actually like oh, this one. That aftertaste is. This is actually my personally favorite flavor that we've had thus far. No. It tastes like a bowl of ramen with all the water dried out, left out in the sun to dry it, and the moonshine to dry it by night. Ew. And all we get are like seasonings oh, and put that back. dehydrated ramen noodles. Okay, so what I felt. Still really good. What I felt, first, first bite, first, first instinct, flavorless. And then the aftertaste just kind of, kind of cooked in the back of my throat. It's like, gross. Those were the, what were those called again? Let me see that. Those were the Umabio. Umabo. Mabo. Uh, Mabo. We'll be right back after a short break from our sponsor. Now we have what's called Choco Balls. A fantastic chocolate covered ball. Fantastic chocolate covered balls of caramel. One of the most iconic Japanese candies. Iconic. Balls of caramel. Balls. Oh my gosh, give me that. It's all about the knife you wield. Speak softly and carry a sharp knife. Zero out of five stars for the wrapping. All right, so far. You can go ahead and open that. Oh! <laughs> five out of five stars for the wrapping. Zero out of five stars for the openers. It's got like a little... Just pop this open. And then you pour it. Wow. It's really not showing anything to be Okay, so this is like the... Give me. Give me. Give me. Is what they look like. Yeah, alright. Count us down, Bobby, like this. One, two, five, three. go. First taste, the chocolate is pretty low quality. It's kind of crumbly. Doesn't exactly taste like chocolate. It's not too bad though. The caramel's a little hard, but I mean, it tastes like imitation caramel. It has like a weird aftertaste with the caramel. Yeah. I, I'd say the milk, the milk chocolate part is better than the caramel <laughs> part. Yeah, the caramel is not like milk dud caramel where it like How sticks to everything. However, I do like this caramel a lot because it doesn't stick to my teeth. I'm not a big fan of milk duds. This is a little bit better than milk does. It's not quite as chewy. It goes away after a while. It and doesn't not, just stick to your teeth. It's not I mean, it's not rich. It sticks to your teeth, but I would, I would eat these again for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Next up is Pocky Sticks. I think I've had some Pocky Sticks before. I've played with Pocky ago. Sticks. That's hockey, dude. According to this, it says, creamy, melt in your mouth, milk flavored, coated, fused onto a crispy cookie stick. I, I would say, that's a pretty lame package. I thought it was like a box of juice, honestly, when I first saw it. Which would kind of be gross. They're really small, like noodles. Like, oh gosh, they're all stacked together. They're melted together. They're melted together. I have one with a little bit of coating. I have one with a lot of coating. It's like one of those, I need another one. It's like one of those noodles that you put on your salad, that you can get it like a, all you can eat. Like, but yeah. they, we're so American. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a strong cream flavor. Like, I taste a lot of yeah, cream in there. It's delicious. It's like, yeah, it's heavy cream. 
I don't know if it's spoiled or not. What is your best buy date on this thing? The stick tastes like um, the, what are those, vanilla wafers, Yeah. but a little better. Like a crunchy vanilla wafer. Yeah. These are fit. This is called a high chew grape. I love high chews. It's a high chew, but it's grape flavored. Fruit flavored, soft, chewy Japanese candy sold in Japan since 1975. Let's try this out. Get downtown to Chinatown. Japantown. Smell camera. This smells delightful. Audience, what do you think? Let's go ahead and try this out. This is like the epitome of an artificially Ooh. grape flavored. Look at that, it's got layers right there. You just know you are in for a delectable treat oh, right off the it bat. It feels like candy. Let's see soft. if it tastes like candy. Hang on. Really soft, but spongy. Ooh. Bouncy. And that grape flavor. I'm high on this too right now. You can get high on a lot of things. If there was anything I'd want to get high on, it, it would, would be this. I this might take a little bit. We might have to time lapse this with us chewing this. What's next, Bob? These are called Tohato Spicy Rings. Since 2003, these flaming rings of death have been around, no, have been burning their way around Japan. Spice factor, five out of five. Unfortunately, in America, we do it out of 10. So if it's only a five out of 10, we'll be disappointed. But he's a fan of spicy things. I'm kind of a little bit sensitive to spicy things, so this will be very interesting. Packaging, I love it. What do you think of the packaging? It's very intimidating. It's creepy. Let's Halloween. See if we can find an actual ring. That's the first thing that comes to mind is Halloween right there on the cover. So, like you said, like Jerry was saying, this will be very interesting because I'm a New Mexican, but we're all New Mexicans. We're both New Mexicans, but I'm a huge fan of spicy. I love green chili. I love ghost pepper oh, stuff. Great. I love jalapenos. Oh, these smell amazing. I love. Check it out, audience. These smell really good. Let's try these. Spice factor, like one negative. out of five. <laughs> one out of ten. five. One out of ten. That's pretty bad for spice. But the crunch, I mean the texture, has a little bit of burn, just very slight, like maybe a chipotle burn. Barely. But the texture's amazing. I can see myself snacking on these for, you know, if I'm just, I want to snack, I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. I have some Tahato spicy rings. Spice flavor, five out of five. Oh, I mean, so these are, try a bunch of them together. Try a bunch of them together. They have a lot more like a little... Oh, yeah. I'm they have a little that. more of a bite The to cake it. is much better when you have a... Ooh. Two out of five. You don't just want to take one ring. You can't just have just one. You can't just have just one. All those just. It just kind of savor them. So it kind of has like a cheese flavor what? to me. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but it has... I can definitely taste the tomato. It has a yeah. crunchy... I don't think it's like tomato. Like you bite into it. It doesn't look like it'd be that sip, but it's... There's some real crunch to it. Oh, and check out that audio level. It's got like a snap. I mean, it's it's good. Mm -hmm. I can't stop eating them. That was Joshua, me, Global Snackage. We're brothers. In case you thought there was anything here that's super weird. Thank you everyone for subscribing and liking, and please comment down below if you think you would like to try any of these snacks, and if there's any countries you would like us to look into. We're open. We're not really picky. We're we're like nope. the not picky eaters. Yep. Anyways. And just like every other time, we'll see you guys on the other side. There it is. Little spicy. They're not spicy. Yeah, I could taste the spicy. Mm -hmm. They're good, but spicy. Kind of tastes like potato chips. I could snack on these all day, but they're still a little spicy. Yeah. With a bottle. Mm.